Hi everyone, and welcome to... No, we're not doing it that way. Hi everybody. Hi everybody, and welcome to the final episode of Season 1 of Frank's TV. Um, it's really a gratitude fest over here, because when I think about the future for healing, which is, this is also part 5 of healing, so it's part 5 and goodbye at the same time. Um, but when I think about the future of healing, I focus so much on the gratitude of the story and just being able to have people and do things like this. Um, so today we're going to talk a little bit about what I think the future looks like um, and where we can all go and how we all plug into it and sort of what it means to be a human in 2021. Um, Thank you so much for the, this lovely experience and stick around for part five of healing and the conclusion of season one of Frank's TV. The purpose of her life isn't yours to understand Cause she's so free from the man Cause that girl does what no one can That's Frank! Of a girl that you love to detest But when the world's feelings you choose to repress She's so beautiful I don't know how to address Let's call her Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Okay. Hi everyone, and welcome to the final episode of season one of Frank's TV here on the Frank's TV network on um, YouTube or Instagram, I guess, depending on how most people are seeing this. But welcome, you know. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's watched and who everyone who's participated. And I really appreciate all the encouragement and the conversations that have happened. And um, I just really am grateful. You know, thank you so much. Um, I personally have grown a lot through the process of sharing and being vulnerable. And I um, can just say that I really, I'm really appreciative of all the support and the, I feel really greasy. And the fact that I feel greasy, I'm appreciative of all of it. Um, so thank you. So, uh, concluding season one of Frank's TV with part five of healing, uh, I wanted to talk about the future and what my vision for the future could look like and really where things are going. Um, and I want to say that I'm very optimistic about the future. And I'm very optimistic about what's coming next. And it doesn't come from a desire to like want something different or want more. It's just that the way that things are happening in the world, there's such a revolution of, like I said, higher consciousness and awareness of other people and empathy and individuality and authenticity that it really um it's exciting to see that and to think about where we could where we as a civilization could be in like 10 to 20 years um of course maybe the sun will blow up and that's the end of us global warming is a real threat but i think as far as culture and society goes i'm really excited about where this is going i think collectively um, especially Millennials and Gen Z, you know, we've really pushed forward to heal from things like mis like toxic masculinity, toxic femininity, um, racial injustices, um, you know, generational traumas like the inception of like Latin America, things like that, um, slavery, worldwide genocides and things like that. Um, I think we, as a, as a generation, have really um, pushed beyond that 
and taken it to the next level and are bringing it, you know, to the streets and to the politicians and to our music and our art and charging everything we're doing with this new revolution of humanity. Um, and maybe that's what it's always like for people who are in this gen, who are like this age group that I fall into. Um, maybe that's just what it is, is that that's how humans evolve. Um, but when I, when I think about looking towards the future, I guess that's one aspect of it, obviously. But when I want to, what I really want to emphasize is the individual future and how that plugs into that larger, um, future. <laughs> so when I think about the individual future, and I'm not talking about just fine, I'm talking about everybody's. I think that because there is like a resurgence of spirituality and like healing and and um, individually focused like resources and community and sharing, um, I feel like there's a lot of opportunity for all of us to not live um, tied to repression or um, objectification and I, I feel like with the things that are happening in the world now there's so much more opportunity to be free and find excuse me and find other people who um, think like you and, and behave like you and look like you and 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 and, ha and offer um, a sensation of home you know um, so as far as like individual healing goes, I think it's great that we now live in a society in it we live in a society. I think it's cool that nowadays, um, like I'll say speak for myself, like when I was 18, 16, 15, um, I really didn't have a lot to look forward to. I felt like I had to pave my way. Um, because there wasn't anybody that was like super um eclectic and non-binary and celebratory and different and, and authentic and not afraid to be themselves and so in essence I kind of became that because I needed that for myself to exist um, whereas nowadays if a 15 year old somebody in somewhere is watching this like hey I'm telling you you ha you can be whatever you want to be and like even beyond what it was in like 2008 you can now be something even more extravagant and more complex and like deluxe and supreme because there really is no rules. Um, with the dawning of the age of the web, there's a lot of uh, shit to filter, but at the same time, there's a lot of opportunity for all of us to just live our most authentic lives and become our most authentic selves. So I'm really excited about that future. I'm really excited about the resurgence of authenticity, the resurgence of higher consciousness, the resurgence of humanity and community thinking and empathy and sympathy and love and care. And I'm excited to see where it goes. I think that there's a lot um, of false promises being made. I think there's always false promises that are being made no matter what time frame you live in. And I think that it's just important, and I remind everybody, to focus on yourself. Focus on your healing process, your healing work, figuring out your purpose in this life, and understanding your... Ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. Understanding your individual contribution to that higher consciousness. That's really what life is about. It's not about comparing yourself to anybody else. It's not about... Um, you know, like, not being grateful and, like, thinking too much of the past or working too much towards the future. It's just about, um, inserting yourself into the present moment and saying, okay, this is what I'm living right now. This is what I get to have. And this is maybe where I want it to go, but I'm grateful because I'm here and I'm participating. And it's it goes unacknowledged a lot of the time how important it is to just participate like you don't have to live in a shell 
of who you are. Reach out to someone. Talk to someone if that's what you need. Write it in a journal. Put it into your music. Make clothes that reflect who you want to be. Like, become, you know? I think this is the best time in the universe where the universe needs you to become. It's with the dawning of the age of Aquarius this uh, last year, I guess. This year? What year is it? I think it was this year. But the ending of the Capricorn times and moving into Aquarius times, um, it's about innovation. It's about community. It's about helping your fellow, they, them. And it's about loving each other wholeheartedly, unconditionally, and without reservation. Um, because that really is what life is about. Life isn't about how much money you have, how you, what you look like, the cars that you drive, the job you have, where you live in the world. Life is literally, and I've learned this even through exercising it with this YouTube channel. As long as one person interacts with what you're doing, that's all you need. You don't need, no one needs a million zillion people around them cheering them on and saying this and that and like no one needs that what we all should come form with is the fact that you just are participating in a larger web and that you are have gone through such an integrated and essential journey and healing process and traumas and gratitude and successes and failures and and you've learned everything you had to learn so that you could get to this moment so that you could continue to live in this moment as the moment proceeds and that's really what it is you know that's really what healing for the future is going to look like it's about us just getting into the present moment like that's it understand what comes in understand what affects you let go of what doesn't serve you and just let yourself kind of become you know get out of the way be free evolve with the revolution of higher consciousness let it envelop you and take you forward and getting goosebumps again and joining yourself on that journey of love and peace and purpose and remember to give empathy to everyone that crosses your path to love every single being um frog bird human that comes by your path and understand that we as humans aren't here to dominate this planet we're here to cultivate it and so approach the world and each other with a sense of cultivation and you'll be so so satisfied with what it comes out of that as a result. Season one was really about consciousness. Um, I didn't even realize that until I started um, planning for season two. Um, but really, it's it's been a journey and it's been really exciting and I've learned a lot doing stuff like this and I have some things that I want to work on that require me to travel a bit and take some time away from making these shows so I'm um like I said again um this is really just an exit episode more than it was anything else but I just really appreciate everyone's time and everyone's effort and everyone's gratitude and eyes and ears and I wouldn't be doing any of this if it wasn't for me wanting to do it so the fact that other people get to enjoy it is really something very special um so I guess that that's kind of all I have to say. Um, thank you so much. And, you know, the episodes will be up on YouTube forever um, as long as they the, the internet allows it. Um, and I will see you all in a few weeks, months, years, eons, decades um, for season two of Frank's TV. Uh, thank you so much for sticking around. And... If you have any suggestions for, um, if you've gotten this far in the video, obviously you, you must enjoy it to a certain degree, you know, not to, to be like that, but if you have any suggestions for what you want to see out of season two, please let me know. Um, we're going to get a whole new set design and a whole new topic, um, and an overarching thing and we'll see what happens. 
So uh, again, thank you so much for participating. I'm gonna I could give you gratitude forever. It's my my star sign setup puts me in a situation where I don't know how to shut the fuck up sometimes. So thank you so much for being here and for watching. Um, I love every single one of you and I will see you in season two. Bye.